What is happening people? Hey guys, today I am going to do a review on a, a Yiku camo made by Yiku Outdoor Company right here, Yiku Outdoor Company. Great camouflage, they contacted me and wanted me to do a review on their netting. So I chose uh, this netting, ordered it off Amazon and uh, it is a six and a half by five and a half put foot piece of camouflage I'll get that out and uh, I primarily ordered this size uh, for my application on some camouflage material uh, for my filming application and to use camouflage window netting over some of my ground blinds and some of my box stands you know you need a blind just like you do in the house so you can open it up so hey guys stick with me and we'll go through and I'll show you how I use this camouflage and I'll show you another great product to make your life easier as an outdoorsman. You know, uh, I'm kind of standing around this tree right here and, and I'll show you a couple of clips of uh, this camouflage actually in action. And uh, <clears throat> you know, the first thing struck me about this camouflage netting here, and I've used netting before on some of my blinds and you know, actually in an application for myself during turkey hunting. Now, if you're a turkey hunter, uh, this right here comes in really handy and uh, if you'll take a look at this clip right here and in this clip uh, you will see I took this small piece that I'm holding right now and uh, I didn't have a lot of camouflage around me I was calling the turkey he was on the way in set the decoys up had to make a quick ground blind I just cut some sticks with my snips real quick pop this up with a few short cedars around it and that made great camouflage. I was able to move my crossbow. I was able to move my hands, uh, work the uh, camera, uh, work the control on the camera, move my hands around some. So it allowed me, that allowed me to get my crossbow up without being seen by the turkey. Now, if you turkey hunt, if you're not an outdoorsman and when a turkey's 20 yards away, 22 yards away, it doesn't take much to spook him off. This material also has a very tight weave so that mosquitoes can't get through there. Of course, if you just got it draped around you like this, it don't matter, the mosquitoes gonna get to you anyway. But if you had it draped over yourself like this, of course it would keep insects from passing through, so that helps. There's three basic patterns that this particular uh, type of camouflage comes in. It comes in the camo leaves, the dry grass, and the woodland. Uh, colors is the three primary colors this particular camo comes in and this is a six and a half by five foot so it's six and a half foot one way five feet the other way and the primary reason I chose this smaller piece uh, was that I was going to particularly use this in my field uh, in my filming application while I was turkey hunting or deer hunting that was one reason I ordered the smaller piece and once I got it, I realized I could use uh, this larger piece as some camo or uh, camouflage uh, while I was turkey hunting to help block, uh, you know, some of my hand movements and working my camera down low. This camo is made from strong polyester material. Oh, uh, it's very, very tough. It won't tear. I can't stick my thumb through it. Boom like the camouflage and I'll show you this clip right here of how I use this camouflage in a way to kind of hide my camera I go filming uh, some other folks sometimes sometimes I'm calling sometimes I'm just go uh, just filming other hunts and I needed something uh, the camera that I'm filming with right now is a Sony AX100 it's fairly large and I have a tripod that has expandable legs that will go up to about five feet all the way down to about this tall here and uh, you can see it in this clip right here and that stand uh, is, is, is primarily I can raise and lower it to match my eye level depending on whether I'm just filming or whether I'm actually the shooter so I just take that camouflage uh, material and uh, Pull it up like yet so, clip it here, and I slide it right over the lens, boom, and uh, put a rubber band around it, and so it hangs down 
Uh, so while I'm talking, I'll show you a clip of that. It hangs down uh, in front like a little umbrella in front of the legs. And I can ease my hand up behind the camera and work the camera. And because this mesh is so tight in this, you can see a little bit through it. But you see my black shirt here. So if I had a dark background, you couldn't see my hand maneuvering to actually turn the camera right to left. So, you know, my first impressions with this material was it was extremely durable. Boom. I mean, I cannot push my thumb through that. That tells me that's going to last me a long time. The next thing I like about this camouflage is that this, this piece, all right, I can, I'm six feet tall, a little over six feet. And so you can see this cloth is roughly six feet this way. So I didn't cut it on the length. I wanted my length. But you can see now, I cut the bottom portion of it about a foot of, uh, about 18 inches off of it. That's about roughly 48 inches, maybe 50. Now, when I'm hunting, and this is a great thing about this cloth. Now remember, this is about 50 inches wide by about six feet long. Now, I'm no folder by no means. That's why I don't fold clothes in my house. But anyway, boom, there you go. That's all the big it is. That's it right there. Fold this up, put it in my backpack, put it in my hunting vest, uh, whatever I want to do with it, put it in my coat. That's all the room. That's about the size of a pair of binoculars, small binoculars. So I can carry this with me on a hunting application, pop it out, and I use this. And look at this clip right here. I gave this... I gave this cloth right here to Jonah. He was sitting out on the edge of an opening, working a turkey coming in. Didn't have a lot of camouflage in front of him. His pant camouflage was a little faded. Took this cloth out real quick and he laid it right across the self and boom, he's, uh, he's now camouflaged. So guys, uh, Ye Ye Cool Outdoors makes products uh, for camping. They make some for vehicles. Uh, they make several different types of camouflage material depending on your application or how you want to use it. Uh, you could use this uh, dove hunting and a duck blind. You could drape it over top of the boat. So there's many applications you can use this camouflage in. Making some curtains. Let me rephrase that. So in this last clip here, I'm making some curtains for the windows of my hunting blinds. Now many times if you're a hunter, the sun will set on one side and you'll have a lot of daylight coming through the window or a cold wind. And with this camouflage, it's got a tight mesh so it doesn't allow a lot of wind to come in. I can close those curtains, stop that daylight, and I can also stop uh, wind coming in from that side. It keeps your scent from blowing around. Hey guys, real quick, I'm going to show you how to make a curtain for your box stands really quickly using this Ye Cool material quickly I'm going to so right now I'm going to demonstrate on this board here you can see this outline here running along here that represents the opening or the window uh, to a box stand or some type of permanent stand and we're going to use this camo material now this is just an old camouflaged uh, aluminum shaft arrow it was old arrows that I have laying around that I don't use anymore a, uh, to, I, I need something to support the curtain as it moves. You can also use a dial rod, a piece of stiff PVC pipe, anything that you have laying around. I, know I didn't have any dial rods, so I found these old arrow shafts that were bent uh, that I could utilize. You'll also need some form of a spacer, boom, right here, that goes behind this shaft that sits here that holds it off of the wall so this camouflage material can move easily back and forth. Now that can be any, your spacer could be anything. It could be a square block of wood. Uh, it could also be, uh, you know, a nut, something like this. Um, you know, it could be anything that's a spacer. I like something that's about the thickness of my finger. So roughly about three quarters of an inch to an inch. Uh, because some box stands have wood when you slide this back and forth uh, You know it may be splinters there and it may hang the cloth 
keeps it from moving smoothly. So let's put this thing on. So as you're probably aware, I have already, uh, you know, pre-drilled this. Okay, so now that we have got it in place, uh, of course you want your camouflage, whatever it is, turned to the outside. So if you're looking at the box, you see this camouflage material. And, you know, it probably really doesn't matter, you know, from the, you know, from this side, it would look like this. Uh, if you're standing outside the box, but you, you want to see your camouflage. So I like to leave this kind of loose. Uh, you can see we can slide this open. We can slide this all the way up. We can slide this all the way open. So here would be the edge of our window. And uh, you know, say if we were shooting out this side, uh, we are looking out the whole window. I think this is approximately about 17 inches uh, by roughly about an eight inch window. So, of course, if you was making this, cutting your cloth, and your distance was down to here, of course, you would cut your cloth accordingly. And so the nice thing is this blocks some sunlight, blocks wind from coming inside of your blind. So you can close that up. Laps over just a little bit. Boom. So you can use double-sided tape here, or you can use glue. I chose to use my glue gun. Didn't have any double-sided tape. So... Boom, one more use for the Ye Cool camouflage cloth. When I'm making these blinds, this cloth can be cut. Another great thing about it, and let me show you this edge here. So this edge here, boom, has been cut. I cut it to go around it. You see it rolls a little bit, but it does not fray. So you don't have any stitching. Let, let the camera get kind of cleared up on that you don't you don't have any you know uh, stitching sticking all out like this on the edge so I am really pleased how durable this camo is and how easily it is to work with how it folds up how it's really this is really soft this is this is almost as soft as my t-shirt and uh, I really like this material and it's gonna come in handy in years to come in several of my uh, hunting applications so if you're interested in this company look up ye cool outdoors and uh or ye cool camouflage you can find them on amazon i'll put all these links below in the box here and uh i have an affiliate number down there uh click that affiliate number in the description box if you are interested in this uh camouflage material hey guys if you're interested look them up ye cool outdoors ye cool Find them on Amazon. Look in the description box below. Uh, this camouflage will help conceal you uh, when you're in the outdoors. Hey guys, you remember, it's a wildlife and I'll see you in the woods.